So this is the sand method. Um, trying to make new pots. Uh, trying to get a, you know something a little little nicer, a little cleaner. So I've watched a bunch of videos online. Um, this is my attempt at you know making a sand. Uh, my first sand pot. So this is sand. I've sort of leveled it out as much as I can. I've got it on a nice turn um, turntable, and I've got this. And so this will make the edge. Now what you're looking at is the bottom of the pot. So there'll be a little. So it'll kind of come out a bit, and then there'll be a little bit of a lip. So what you really gotta do is get this moisture, and you gotta go over it tons of times. So I realize you get the cement really moist. You you hang it over, you let it hang over the edge, and then use this 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 device right to smooth it out. And so it started taking off the chunk, and I realized you gotta go over and over and over again. Um, you know, so you pour cement down on top really light like this, right? And then it will it will make the form. So you're not carving out of the existing cement. You're sort of building on top of it. Um, sections like this, you just kind of pat back in, right? And then let the cement come down and then sort of make the form. You know, at the start, I was having a really hard time because it was kind of coming off, like I was pulling off the cement off the sand. Uh, but now I realize you kind of just, you build it. Uh, you know, and I'm starting to get a, a cleaner, much cleaner, cleaner edge. because you don't want to be scraping it off of that core sand. You want to kind of build it up with this, with this more moist sand. And now I'm getting the sort of form that I, you'll see as I come around what that far side looks like. This is, this is the easy thing. You'll definitely want to get it on a swivel table. I'm so glad I did, I wasn't sure. I was like, I'll just do it and move it around. And now it's, it's so obvious why you need this. It's for this phase where you just got to go over and over so there's smoothing cement on top. It's built. It's building layers. It's building layers. See, so you can maybe see the ridges there on this one. So then you just kind of come over again, pour more cement on, and just build another layer on top. Right. So then I pick up, pick up this cement, pop it on top. You know, and you could make. See, I'm making, I'm making sort of, uh, what do you call that? Angled edges here. Here's a pot I managed to get it quite a bit smoother uh, using that technique with the, um, the tape. See here, I didn't, didn't, you know, didn't quite get as smooth. Pretty darn good, pretty darn good, this one. I'm pretty happy with it. In the bottom here. So 
I'm gonna show you, you can really get the cement quite smooth. I'm gonna show you another container I made. This one was round. Um, yeah, I just wanna show you how smooth you can actually get the, the cement. So you can see it's a little rough. Uh, that's from using uh, this method here with uh, this thing. Actually, well, I think I used a different one for this. It might have been this. Yeah, it was this. Sorry, it was this one here, scraping along. Uh, ended up pretty rough, a little rougher than I was hoping for. Um, you know, but I've overall it's a little nicer though. It's, I mean, you can get this, this kind of angle, um, which you don't get so much with the. Uh, the molds is easy. You know, I kind of put some feet on after. Uh, they really, it was really wet, so you can see it didn't turn out that well. Um, but overall, I'm quite happy. I managed to get pretty thin, thin walls on it. Um, like I said, the ridges, the ridges aren't, let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Come over here with the light. The ridges aren't that nice. Uh, what I'm really liking is this top, this top lip here. This is probably the nicest piece about it. This is another one I made. Uh, this is using uh, this device here. I actually used just a piece of gutter metal and uh, bent it around and then glued that on there. Um, it sort of had, had something like, oops, sorry, wrong way. Something like this. Um, what I found with this is, um, you know, I could end up cutting the legs out a little better. Again, the, the cement was too, too wet. One of the things I noticed working with this style is you really got to get, get, get a good feel for the cement and, uh, how it, how it comes on. Cause it was really kind of f sloughing off and things were, um, you know, getting really rounded. I couldn't quite get the sharp edge. So I need a little drier, but again, again, I really like this, this lip here. Um, and again, the. The cement was just too moist, so when you look at it from above, you can see there's there's a really big section back here uh, compared to the rest. So that and that's just because it kind of kept sloughing off, and I couldn't quite get it attached enough to it. Um, but I managed to get a little, little little better definition, but still not great. The bottom here, it it was too wet. The cement was too wet. So finding that right consistency um, was kind of crucial. But I actually found this method uh, with this thing a little more difficult to get it along and not have the cement kind of rip off um, but I think I can get some nicer lines with it so um, I'm gonna try another pot like that the last one I'm gonna give an update on uh, this one I used uh, I didn't use this method here I used the sort of scraping met method which I actually found easier but it the end, the end form didn't turn out so well. Now this one, I, uh, you know, I'm in Canada. It's minus, it gets minus four, and so I'm doing it out in the cold. And I tried to let it dry in the cold, and that obviously didn't set the cement well. So it all flaked off. Pieces like this, you know, just flaked off. So I lost all the design in it. Um, so something to think about when you're drying. Now I bring them inside when I'm drying them. Um, something else to kind of consider when you're making these is the depth that you're going to go for. Um, so these are these are quite deep, right? This would this would be considered a developmental uh, or training training container, not an actual bonsai. Um, so you know, think you can think about the different sizes that you need. But that's one of the nice things about uh, about doing your own containers is that you get to you get to make that decision. And sometimes it's you you still want to kind of look nice in a nicer pot, not have it in just a, a regular round black pot um, for development. You can kind of put it in a bigger one. It, it looks like a a bonsai a little bit more. So probably the simplest form is the uh, what I call the form method. Um, you can check out my other videos on how I how I make these. Probably the simplest because you can just mix the cement and put it in the form. Uh, you know these are just Tupperware, so I'll uh, get a little piece of styrofoam, a couple styrofoam. This one has four. You know put put them in here, put it on there, and you know I put cement in there and then place it in. And you can get different heights uh, depending on how you know how you want to use the forms in there, how much cement you want to have. Um, so a lot of my pots, you know, some of them, some of them barely make. They're you know they're a little bigger often. Some of them than than bonsai. They'd be more like development pots. So that's one. And I inlaid some rocks there to that one. 
Here's a different form. This one doesn't have any legs on it right now. But again, quite simple. A little deeper. That same same form here, but a little thinner. As you can see, a little a little thinner. It's got the little styrofoam leg or uh, yeah, styrofoam egg carton legs. A couple other ones. So here's a different, you know, different shape. And then here's a much bigger one. You know, it's a uh, much deeper, so more for development. You know, you can see it's it's quite deep in there. So by far the simplest method uh, for making bonsai pots. This is also made by the form method. Uh, I've got some brown uh, cement dye I've used to this one, so it's got a little bit different look. It's uh, significantly bigger, as you can see. It's quite it's quite large. You know, my other biggest one was was this size. Um, so you can you know you can make it much bigger. It could be a forest planting or a much bigger bigger tree. Uh, this one actually, instead of doing it on the inside here, you know, this, you can use these. I actually flipped this over, stuck it on a piece of wood, and did all on the outside. And what I had to do is, what I had to do is uh, fill in the inside here, because the, the, ed the edges were a little bit thin from that. So then the next, uh, after a few days it dried, pulled it out, just put cement in here. I ended up just using the gray, because uh, I was making some other, some other uh, pots, and I didn't have the same brown. Uh, one of the things with the dye is, uh, you know, if you try to do any repairs with it, it's hard to get the exact same color, so you end up with something different, but that's another form method. And the second method here is um, sort of like you make a wire, I don't know, a cage, I guess, would be, you know, kind of wire cage method. Uh, so you make the wire, this is just small, obviously, so I used a much bigger one here. Um, and you, you build the form, and then you, you, you pack the cement in with your hands. So you have to have the cement quite a bit drier, uh, and then after initial, actually I don't think I did with this one. This one was just one, one time through. You can kind of see here, I didn't get enough cement on here. So what I might do is, uh, at a later date, um, I'll get more, more cement and just, just do a coat over. Get rid of some of these cracks, sections I don't like. Um, but again, this is to make a much bigger, and it's, it's a much more rugged look. So, you you know, you put a rugged tree in there. It wouldn't probably be a deciduous or something. Yeah, you can even see back here. See, some of there's that mesh, mesh background. But it's another idea. Another quite simple one. And a different, different mesh one here. You know, I just I didn't quite, I didn't get deep in, I got too much, um, too much cement on the bottom here. So, it's actually, it's a little like thick, tall, and then not enough dirt in there. Uh, so this one might actually come up a little bit. Uh, but again, this is a really nice way to make a, a deeper, deeper container. You know, this cement was quite a bit wetter when I was using it, so it, it's a little, little smoother, which I, I don't actually like as much. Um, this one has a teeny bit of dye, and you might not be able to see it, so it's a like a beige, almost like light brown color. So this is something totally different here. This is uh, using the balloon method, um, and I guess it would be the cloth method. I'll call it the cloth method, method number number four. Um, essentially what you do is get a cloth and dip it in cement, drape it over the the balloon, and that's how you're getting these long, um, so this long background here, which I really like. Um, you know, really unconventional quite a bit different um, you know one of the things with this is that I had to kind of you had to drape it over and let it dry quite a bit um, and then come the next day with another cement and re put it all on again hang it upside down uh, flip it over another come in another day and then re put cement in here and that's to get rid of some of sort of the, the cloth look and, and get it more drippy and more like more like rock so I've got a few others I can show you in the same design. This is actually in a brown, you probably can't see it that well, but it's like, it's, it's in a brown dye. Um, and then what I did is I made this base for it. Um, 
well, you won't be able to see in there, uh, to hold it up so it's held on that. So that's what I'll do with the other uh, gray one. Um, one of the things with the brown is it's hard to get the same color of brown when you remix the dye again. And again, if you're doing this over multiple days uh, to get this in, uh, to get this less seen the cloth and more of the sort of rugged cement, uh, it gets hard. And you can see here, like I have a little ridge here where there's the cloth is still coming through in here. So I'd like, ideally I'd like to do this one again, but uh, you know, if I get the cement a different color, it'll really contrast. So you kind of have to do like the whole thing with this different color cement um, so that it doesn't contrast too much. Or, or if you like that, it's a different look. So here's a couple uh, ones I didn't use, the balloon. Uh, this one I just flipped up a yogurt container upside down and used the cloth. So you know it's got a square, square feel. So I'm not really sure about, you know, what kind of tree to put in this, whether it's a huge tree and it comes way out and this is just sort of there, or, or, or I try to make like a, some sort of miniature landscape. Again, like I said, I'm not sure. This one I use just a Tupperware, flip the Tupperware upside down um, and then drape the cloth over that way. So just a couple different ideas. Um, you know, I'm, I, again, I'm not sure what these, I, I really like how they turn out, but I'm not sure what they'll look like with trees in them and how to kind of design them, whether it'll take away too much, but just, just another design concept uh, to think about. Another idea to use your cement, this is just the, uh, sometimes you have a lot of extra cement after doing a project, you don't get the amount mixes in right. So I just, I'm starting to make these sort of slabs. I just make them, put them on some plastic and uh, smooth it out. You know, whether that's just something to hold the trees on, hold the pots and then the trees on, this is another sort of divine design feature or, you know, maybe, maybe at some point it's a, uh, you know, some sort of a penging scene. Maybe put a really small tree, a little small juniper and some sand and, and make some sort of, sort of landscape or, or it could just be a slab planting, right? Um, anyways, just one more thing to think about you can make with the cement.